I don't believe that there's three sides to a story. People usually say it's your side, their side, and the truth. I believe there's two sides, two perspectives, two opinions, two experiences, two sides. J Vibes put out a couple videos and I am here to watch it. We're gonna get straight to it because this first video, part one, is 34 minutes long. This is titled, Jay, why did you get personal? This is the reason why. All facts, part one. Let's get to it. Jay, but what made you put, put the business out there? What made you go so low, get so personal? Oh, Yo, who am I? I'll go by Jay. I ain't know no sad shit. Free JT, I am that bitch, but I am not your bitch. Still pop my lips, still snap. She's really good in music. I like her flow. What's going on, J Squad? Plum Squad, it's your girl J. You already know. Welcome back to J Vibes. Big period. Today's video, I'm reacting to Nick's video. I didn't want to make a separate video because people get lost, they get confused, and I don't want you to be lost. I don't want you to be confused. And at the end of this reaction, I'm gonna give you my peace of mind. Let's get. By the way, I'm gonna be honest with my opinion because that's what it is, just my opinion. So let's get to it. Get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick Gina Host. And today, I have recorded this video at least seven times, right? And every time I try something different, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to come to them like this. Y'all, my ex exposing me. I just can't believe it. Y'all, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. Y'all, have you ever been with somebody for six years and they make it seem like you never was that phone ever? When you was the main one there. When did I ever make it yeah. When did I ever make it then I, I had moments where I was, I was angry, I was emotional, I was all of these things. And then I decided, you know what? Be yourself. Say how you really feel. That's what I'm gonna do. So I want to welcome y'all to the story of me and my ex. Now, in this story, I'm not gonna tell y'all what happened with us because I'm going to give you a whole animated story time for that. The petty levels of what actually happened to get us to this point is beyond me. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> Jay is so funny. You get what I'm saying? She Her put royalties videos so, so tiny in the corner. <laughs> started watching this channel from into New York. She's trying, you know, she's trying to let people know, you know, this is, this is my channel. This ain't hers. See, she has that video so small in the corner. We came from our background and things like that. <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to help her be this, 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 this great YouTuber, this great personality to show her personality. I wanted to so help her work for herself. I wanted her to be on YouTube so we could do that. I wanted her to feel like um, she had friends. Cause she never had friends. I wanted her to feel special. I wanted her to feel liked. And I knew people would like her personality, especially in the pranks that the pranks were more so on her side. Now, if you haven't noticed, and you go look back at all the pranks, they were more so on her. I put out, I did this intentionally. I, this was my idea. I wanted to do the DK4L uh, pranks and challenges, couples challenge thing. Uh -oh. Hey, that's not the same energy. Get to it. There's the same sympathy, sympathy card. I her to know she skipped she that whole part. That's funny. She, she skipped that whole part. She don't got time to be looking at past memories. That's just the past, right? She didn't think they did, right? Um, she never had friends. Let's talk about this friend situation. Let Please me do. just say my story. My dad was in the Navy, so we did a lot of moving. I was born in Atlanta. I was raised in South Carolina, partially raised in North Carolina. I left South Carolina when I was in third grade, came to North Carolina when I was in fourth grade, left North Carolina, went to South Carolina when I was in fifth grade, left South Carolina, came back to North Carolina when I was in sixth grade, and I had stayed in North Carolina ever since then. The friends that I had in third grade, I mean, I'm a third grader. <laughs> Back then, third graders having phones, nah, that, that wasn't going on. Right. In my space, 
Nah, that wasn't going on. <laughs> right. The friends there, gone. Right. Then, when I started to get friends, my daddy was so strict and I was a badass and low-key fast and running away and stuff like that. So, those friends, gone. High school, most people that I did associate myself with, they had graduated a year before. For me, so they graduated first, then I had graduated. What? But that's normal, though. In high school, you tend to move on after that. It's normal to have friends just drop down. When I graduated high school, I went to Greensboro to go to college. I was, I had roommates, and those roommates were low key bullies. So I left after my first year of college, and I came to my dad's house, which was in Charlotte. So here I am in Charlotte. I don't know nothing about Charlotte. I don't know nobody in Charlotte. My ex-best friend that I had from high school, we grew apart. So I'm in Charlotte. I don't know nobody. And the first female that I meet is Tanika. She became my friend. She was my friend. Um, I had co-workers, male co-workers that try to have conversation with me, but it went too far. Like I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm not bi, I'm not straight, I'm a lesbian. So t for me to entertain a lot of guy conversations is not going to happen. And I really feel you can't be friends with guys, I swear. The, they're going to eventually try with you. Eventually. It could be years from now, it could be months from now, it could be minutes from now. But they're going to try. So as far as like females, she was the first female that I met. And then everybody that I met through her, because before this business started, I was going to work, coming home, going to work, going home, going to work and going home. Handling your business. And when I wasn't at work or wasn't at home, I was somewhere shacked up with Tanika. She was my friend. I met a lot of people through her. And with meeting a lot of people... Who I was not obligated to make my friend. But through her, I've seen Facts. a lot of people for who they were at the moment. And it's crazy because a few months ago, Tanika called herself calling me to let me know that these same people that she used to call friends, how they eventually showed their true colors to her. And I forgot what she called me, but it was basically a phone call to let me know like, damn girl, you was right. And if you noticed in, in Neek's video, she says that she has nobody. She has nobody. Okay, and she's moving from place to place. She's got nobody. She's got a great team, but she has nobody. Does that mean you have no friends? You just have acquaintances, business partners? It's, it doesn't matter if you have friends, y'all. It doesn't matter. As long as you still succeed in life. And it's not about being right. It's not about being wrong. It's not about choosing sides. It ain't about none of that. Let's talk about these friends. When I first met you, the people that you were associating yourself around, you are no longer around them. The people that you are associating yourself around with now, you just met these people. The people that I'm associating with now, 89% of them, I just met them. The rest of the percentage, Facts. I've known since 2008. You know how you go to school with somebody, Facts. you don't see them until they grown? Yeah, that's what's going on. So I'm hanging around people now. That's how it is when you're in a relationship. You tend to, to stay away from people, from, uh, from friends and all that, from the social world. But then when you break up, you're trying to get back into it. And that's just normal. Now, that I used to go to high school with, place myself within their circle, and with me doing that, I met new people. Facts. That's how it is. Really still don't have friends. Really still don't have friends. Um. I'm glad, okay, this is Nick's text message. I'm glad you're working and have friends. You have something to look forward to. I'm rooting for you, Dway. Yo, she's coming with this video. And, you know, when I met her, she was just all alone. Oh. And I felt for that. <clears throat> I was like, you know, I, I want to, I want to make her feel special. It was just something I felt that I needed to do. Right? Now, <clears throat> in the midst of this, trying to do YouTube with a, a, a person that you are in a relationship with is very hard. I commend DK for it. For it. Um, it is very, very hard to do, especially when y'all not on the same page. We weren't on the same We wasn't on the same page because me and Tanika met each other at a nine to five. I eventually moved in. 
Tanika didn't no longer want to work a nine to five. She wanted to work for herself. She wanted to be this entrepreneur. Because when we first started this YouTube channel, YouTube check comes once a month. Those YouTube checks was not paying the bills. It paid a bill, maybe a portion, but it did not pay the bills. To keep inconsistent income coming in, I ain't work just one job, I work two jobs. Sometimes I have worked three jobs. And I remember that too, because I've been following y'all for a while. And I was always wondering why she had to work a regular job while Anika was at home. But I damn sure had two at the same time. We weren't on the same page because I would leave, I would wake up, go to a morning job, leave that morning job, go to a, a night, uh, like an afternoon job, get off that afternoon job, get to the crib where she had been all day. All day. And it would be straight YouTube in my face, straight YouTube. I want and this is why me and, me and Pris, we have a channel together. And I'm considerate of her. I'm considerate of her schedule. Since January, she was working three jobs, two full-time jobs at that, okay? If I know that my woman hasn't slept, I am not gonna put a camera in her face and I'm not gonna force her into it either. That's why we haven't been vlogging as much. You have to be considerate of your partner. You can't be so selfish when it comes to your business that you wanna create and that you wanna succeed in. To at least come home and have some type of relaxation. Like, I don't mind grinding and hustle. Grinding and hustle never been a problem for me. But if you need sleep, you need to eat good. If you want a long life, you need that. Those are the necessities that you need. I hate when people say, oh, I'll sleep when I die. Well, you're gonna die quick. You're gonna die soon. You better get that sleep. It's just kind of like, Bro, chill. But I made time for what I wanted to make time for. Not only that, you have to maintain where you're living at. So as far as, you know, cleaning and anything of just keeping up your home, you gotta make time for that too. Thanks. Yeah, we weren't on the same page because of stuff like that. She wanted to do a video right then and there. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to eat. Hold on, Preach, wait a girl. minute, can I shower? Hold Preach. on, wait a minute. This house is a mess. Hold up, Hold wait a minute. Video in this in this mess. Mm. Facts. I branch out. I take over the channel. We can't get along. You don't want to work. I want to work. You work a job. That that's your thing. I need this income. I want this income because I want to be able to take care of us. And I we got in. A, I don't know what kind of argument it was, but it was an argument. And the channel went from Nick and Jay forever to Royalty's World. And the explanation was so that the subscribers didn't always expect me on every upload that she had uploaded because she was, like she said, taking over the channel and she was going to get more into, you know, those reaction videos that she was getting into. I know. She also agreed to work a nine to five while I built the channel and for her doing that, I told her I would start paying the rent with the YouTube check. It sounded so simple, but that's that's not how it went. Of course, you always got a plan, but your plan don't always go how you want it to be planned. So yes, of course, I agreed to keep working the nine to five. I'ma let you be the entrepreneur. Let me go get the bag, bring the bag back to us, and we eat off of this bag. Uh, I had so many jobs. Supporting. I went from That's called supporting, okay? Financially and emotionally. That's supportive. From server jobs to a shift manager at most to a, a commission check. I was a sales rep getting commission checks. I was bringing bread home. Yeah, I agreed to work that nine to five while she stayed at home to work on the bag and stayed at home to do some other stuff too. But yeah, I agreed to that. And yeah, she agreed to pay the rent with the YouTube check, but the way the chase was coming in, it was gradually going up. It wasn't like, oh. Of course not. $10,000. Of course not. She, that it takes time. To this year. It takes time. I know that I can get that done for us. So that's what I did. Went out to New York. Got the best, the best, best uh, deal of my life with uh, Spicy Management. I still thank you, Spicy Management, for doing what you did. Also, uh, Queen Clarence and my dad. Um, I went out there. I was able to fly because of her flight benefits. Facts. 
Yeah, y'all, I got these benefits. I got these checks. She using my benefits. I don't have a problem. Go do your thing. I'm going to hold down the house. Bread that I was getting, I helped out as well. Whether it was keeping the gas in the car, paying the car insurance, whether it was buying the groceries, whether it was let's go out to eat for the rest of the week. We always compromise on you got it, I got it, you want to split it. Like you any other relationship. That, you want me to pay for that, we're going to go. Like any other relationship. It. You want to buy all the electronics and have me pick up these two bills that's coming up for these two weeks because we know in two more weeks we're going to be able to make some bread. I'll do that. So we always had a mutual agreement on how stuff was going to get paid, when it was going to get paid, who was going to pay it. All right, now, this is what I'm going to say. I'm liking Jay's approach in this video. She's not just saying that she's the good one, she's the good one, she's the good one. Neek, you're bad. Neek, you're, mm -mm, you're evil. You're horrible. You suck. I do, more than for, I do more for you than you do for me. She ain't even doing that in this video. She's stating the facts, honestly. She's really stating what the case was. Ooh, a package came in from Amazon. Ooh, I think that's my GoPro. Made something uh, of myself, you know, get a prank on them, and they helped a lot. So after that, my whole life changed. Everything changed. I was in green light. I was on, in gold, you know. And in doing so, things started to change after that. Anyway, it was already feeling like it was a, uh, you know, neglect, so to speak. About this neglect, y'all. So before, prior to her going to New York, I believe the channel, we put in work to get the channel up to like 8,000 subs. So I'm like, we're talking every chance that we can talk. You know, it was at 14,000, it's at 23,000, you know? So we had conversations while she was in New York. Neglect. Um, she was in GOMO, you know, at, at that time it was kind of like, she had to entertain all these subs that came in, you know, based on the content that she had went and got, whatever the case may be. So she was in go mode, you know, she was in go mode to keep the reactions consistent, um, trying to be consistent on reacting to all the relevant videos. Okay, you get Smart what I'm business saying. move, yeah. This neglect thing, it was borderline neglect and it was also borderline unhealthy because. She would wake up, go from the her phone to the computer. So that's when I had to step in and fill a lot of blanks in. Like, dang, you ain't eat breakfast. Let me make you breakfast. You still sit in that same spot? You ain't eat lunch. Let me make you lunch. You gonna be sitting there all night. You need to eat some dinner. And that's really how it is. I think that's a struggle with me and Pris too, is that the time that we do have, which is very little time, I get home and I start filming. I have to because the editing takes forever. I, I take hours because the uploads at nighttime are the worst. Oh my God, it's the worst. And you know, there's been times where I, I do feel like she needs my time, but I, it's the only time I can film. Let me make you dinner. So it was borderline. It can be difficult. I'm glad because you're in a relationship, not catering to that relationship, but only realizing certain stuff when it was too late, like. That's true. And I need to, I need to make time for my woman, and I know that. Like, why you got an attitude? Maybe because I'm sitting over there hungry and I'm waiting on you so we can eat. Maybe I need some love, affection, and sex, but you over there on that computer, and I, and I get it. I understood it. I accepted it. So when we talk about... She accepts it, but she still has needs. She still needs needs to be fulfilled in order to be happy in the relationship. Neglect. It was borderline neglect because you were being so selfish, forgetting that you were in a relationship. Not only were you in a relationship, but you're living with someone else. Come on now, y'all. When it's time to record, it's quiet time. If you get and this is the thing too, Neek didn't have a job, so she had all day, okay? So she could have made a schedule from 7 in the morning to 3 p.m. to work only on YouTube. 
And then when Jay would come home, that's their time together. She should have treated it like a job like that, I believe. It's harder for me because I work a full-time job and do YouTube. So it's hard to have that time in between, but there's always a way and I gotta figure that out. You know what I'm trying to say, like, don't make too much noise, I'm recording. Don't be trying to have no phone call. Go outside and have a phone call, I'm recording. And I understood, and I compromised and I did what I had to do to help the, the situation so it can benefit her to finish her recording, get her videos done, whatever the case may be. And it was also unhealthy on her end because she wasn't eating how she should have. She just sitting there in that one spot. I tried to help her tell her about herself. Time management. Yeah. You've been without Time management. work for so long, you should have your priorities in a certain order. For I'm sure. For sure, for sure. Because I was more focused on working on my craft and doing than I was in this relationship. But not only that, when you are the person who has to come up with the ideas, you have to come up with, let's just go with everything, baby, everything. After a while, it tends to, to put wear and tear on you, to put wear and tear on your brain, wear and tear on your body. You get what I'm saying? And after a while, that's what it was for me. I mean, God, you want me to tell you where to eat, where to go, how, how to do it, where to do it. I mean, what's, what, what, what was left for me? It was nothing left for me. Y'all know why we broke up. Let's go there. I broke up with her because of toxicity. We've been together for six years. Six years. And you have no ownership, no accountability for yourself, for your own actions that put you where you were at. Do not forget you wanted to pursue me. You wanted this uh, relationship. Uh. You wanted me there. And, and it's funny because in the video, Neek makes it seem as if getting with Jay was a charity case. As if she's helping her to become the woman that Neek wants her to be. Girl, no, there's been, there, there was a lot of your stories in your videos where you say, you know, you say, you know, you try to get your girl here. In that apartment with you. You got tired of the late night getting ups and having to worry about me drive to the other side of town. So bring some clothes over so you can stop going back and forth to your daddy house. So that extra trip to my daddy house can stop. Just grab some clothes for the week we're gonna come back next week, swap the clothes out. You are toxic to yourself. You have no ownership, no accountability for your actions. She will not be comfortable because she's not losing no weight, not be comfortable because she's not able to multitask and get more done in her day. I tried to help her see how she could just have a little bit more time management. Just wake up. Instead of doing this, go eat. Instead of before you sit down, do a little mini home workout. Give yourself a break. That's what I said, you have to take care of yourself. This is all good, this money, this all this stuff, the things that you're passionate, the things that you like to do is all good and dandy, but you have to take care of yourself, eat, sleep. After you done spent five hours in front of the computer, give yourself a break. Go do a workout, get something else done. Step outside the apartment. And I'm not trying to you, 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 and blame, 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 because I know I played a part in it, just how you played a part for me. It worked both ways. For she sure. would sometimes seem to think that I just had this attitude. You just got the worst attitude. You just got the attitude. Let me remind you, she knew who I was before we got into relationship. So she knew me. She knew who I was Bam. before she met me. And she was my she manager at Chipotle. And she I know. witnessed my change. I know. I changed. All this toxic stuff, you gotta have some type of ownership and accountability about that. Because it started with self. You were already overwhelmed and feeling so powered when you came back from New York. So you had all this stuff to get done, all this stuff to do. You had a lot on your shoulders. You had a lot of pressure on you. But to turn around and just always try to be the victim, but call me the victim, manipulate me, and at the end try to say I'm the manipulator, it didn't make no sense. Ain't no way I'm the problem morning day and night. You told me one day I need to take my own words of step outside yourself and look at yourself. I need you to practice what you preach. I'm gonna let her finish up.
if I'm exaggerating, five. 2013, you do the math. Today, you decide to take personal business of what we went through in our relationship and share with the internet. I did, y'all. Because I am beyond fed up. She ain't never see this side of me because I kept it so respectful, so cute. I just kept it to myself because she made me feel like after the we got in the relationship, prior to us getting in a relationship, that was my friend. That was my friend. I told her, told her everything. Sooner or later getting into the relationship, I noticed how it was hard for me to express myself. When I say it was hard for me to express myself, I found this post that explained it so well. Stay away from people who always consider you expressing how you feel as you arguing uh, or being extra. It's uh -huh. called gaslighting. Talk Ooh, gaslighting. Okay, girls, Ex <laughs> explain this to me because I want to I wanna know. I like learning. Some people do that so they don't have Text people do that so they don't have to take accountability for their own behavior. One, oh, gaslighting. Have to take accountability for their own behavior. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which a person seeks to sow seeds of doubt in a targeted individual or in members of a targeted group, making them question their own memory, perception, and sanity. That's a fact. That's straight up manipulation. That was a post. Manipulator. Mm. Is what she is. Mm. That's what she is. I got so uncomfortable. You're smart, girl. You're smart. To where, when I expressed myself, she thought I was trying to argue, trying to start some stuff. I'm, I'm extra. I'm being extra. But when it came time for her to express herself, oh, I had to sit down, give her my undivided attention. Literally, I couldn't be not looking at her. I couldn't be fiddling with anything. She needed to know that I heard her and I felt her and I understood her. She needed to always be heard and understood. Okay, I'm- I think because after watching Neek's videos for a long time, I believe Neek is sensitive and she is actually emotional. So I, I, I truly believe that she gets more hurt than Jay does. I could be wrong. Let her finish. I am absolutely flabbergasted. <laughs> More so than flabbergasted, I'm disappointed that you would go so low, you know, to, I guess, make... So my point is, point that I was making, the reason why I did what I did on my previous live, because what triggered me, I was first triggered. No, I was last triggered. The last thing of all of this was being triggered. I was triggered. Getting screenshots and screen recordings of I'm this lame ass bitch and this bitch and that bitch and whatever. Mainly this lame ass bitch. About the whole phone thing. The phone being disconnected. I was triggered. Before that, I was down there harassed. Uh oh. I miss you. Anybody that isn't you is a nobody. Stop. I don't want a, no smoke, especially not in my uniform. That's so cute. You helped celebrate another nigga birthday, but I couldn't even send me a quick. But you couldn't even send me a quick text. However, no worries. That is where we stand. This is personal. You be easy. Happy birthday. May you be showered with blessings. Please continue to grow. So on and so forth. It's kind of hard to move on after a six-year relationship. So I, I kind of don't blame Neek for still wanting her there. Inconsistency will definitely lose me. You can go because that shit been happening on both ends. You want to pull the plug? Let me know how the world, whole world already against me. Join the club. Yeah, playing that victim. I was just fed up. Oh, oh, that's the body shot that they were talking about? Okay. But she's single, though. She's single, though. You can't, you can't have your cake and eat it, too, Neek. You were doing your thing too. Let her, let her do her. You do you. If this was still gonna bother you, you should have never let her go. Up, fed up, y'all. Ooh, you feeling yourself, huh? What? Oh, okay, I see how you be doing. Say less. <laughs> and then she blocked her ass.
Do not wake me up tonight. Girl, let her have fun. Oh, shit. Enjoy. Enjoy what? My life? I'm trying to still. I'm ain't, but okay. You are, though. If you're happy, I'm happy for you. I'm having as much fun as you were taking lemons out of bitches' mouths and shit. You know? So congrats to you, too. Girl, did you, if you're feeling miserable, did you want her to be miserable with you? That's, that's, that's a battle you have to face. I mean, you seem to be happy in the videos with all these girls, too. I mean, come on, now. I compromised so much in this relationship. Come on, now. That I, I kept it to myself. I kept it real cute, even after the, the breakup. I'm not going I gotta read this, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm nosy. All right, I can't, there's some things I can't read, but okay, it feels good too. Wait, my booty or waking up, thanking God, eating fruit and making some time for what you want? Both. What's wrong, Dway? Nothing. You coming tonight? Okay, I will, okay. I'll do anything for you, that's mutual. What you got going on, LaShawn? Working currently, about to take 10 reacts, about to, cook 10 reaction videos and edit them bitches with no excuses what's up with you about to eat edit and record before work just checking on you a lit so i didn't abide by my schedule well after the breakup i was definitely since we had the space i was trying to see if there's any kind of way we can work on our communication it didn't work i went silent i just focused on me that's when i came up with my j fitness vibe channel please make sure you are subscribed so I'm just <laughs> getting more into my fitness because I've always been of fitness not consistent, but I've been of it came a time period in July When she gotta read I know you can care less about me and that's fine I just thought I would say this I apologize for making everything business. I wanted to give you the world I apologize for stunning your growth. You're so smart for stunning your growth. Okay, you're so small And I always wanted to see that light shine on you just was afraid someone would harm you because of your temper. <laughs> okay. I apologize for saying the things one-sided and when I ca calm down, I hear where you're coming from. I have a lot of anger built up inside and you can't help me through that. There was more, but these are a few. This journey was to genuinely learn myself and my flaws are showing fluently. So it's only right I acknowledge them. Being that I put you before myself so much, I genuinely lost me. It was all about you. Did you notice the way you walk, talk, the way you walk, talk, sleep, eat. When you're sad, mad, confused, disappointed, hurt, angry. I couldn't see me anymore and therefore I was beginning to slip away. So focused on giving you the world and leaving myself with nothing. And that is no one's fault but my own. And one more time, I apologize. Mentally, something wrong with me and all I can say is pray for a nigga. I care a lot about you. I'm praying for you and I'm here. That's all you have to say. Clearly, that's what you messaged, but okay, thanks. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, Jay. That's for real, though. I, I kind of I kinda would be a little butthurt, too, if that's all you messaged back after I poured my heart out. I, I would feel hurt, too. But, Neek, even you know it was nobody's fault but your own, that you gave it all to her. It was toxic for yourself, just like I said in my video. She hit me up, and this was the first time we really became cordial after the breakup was in July when we broke up in June so it took about 30 days for us to become cordial was you know we became cordial I was literally getting over her slowly but surely damn near I was over it I was over her I, I don't want her not the relationship not the situation I don't want the situation period so I'm being cordial with her. Literally, I think the whole month of July for her was a confession month because she came at me with an apology. And then a week later, she'll call me and was saying, damn, you was right about this. And you was right about that. And we was trying to, we literally had like a back and forth texting conversation. And I was being able for the first time to express myself. And she was like, you're right about that or I see what you're saying in that that's when it's already too late that's when it's already too late I was over it because we were still doing things as if we were in a relationship mm. and I had to ask 
myself because I was the only one with emotions seem like still still attached. And my emotions were being triggered. My feelings was all over the place. And instead of me trying to answer my own questions, I would go to her. And I will say this, after their breakup, I feel like Jay had more respect for Neek than she had for her, publicly. Neek had all these girls on her videos, and mind you, it could have been nothing. It could just be just for the views. But it's still disrespectful though, knowing that you're still over here messaging her, trying to get with her still. And Jay didn't have that until just recently. Jay started, started talking about her friend and, you know, these video clips with her friends and all that stuff. That just started happening now. What do you I expect? There was one question she asked me that I had, literally had asked myself. And when she had asked me, I'm like, bro, I've been asking myself the same thing. She asked me, what are we doing? What, Sway? I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know what we doing because you don't want no relationship. So if you don't know, you don't want no relationship, you don't want me. But we're doing everything as if we're in a relationship. And I was done with that. Right. I was done with that. Not only that, I'm hanging with, with the people that I'm hanging with. And you're questioning everything that I'm doing. Everything that I'm posting, you questioning it. Everything that I'm doing, you're questioning who I'm with. She even tried to give me an ultimatum. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Let me know if you're still going to be hanging with them. Huh. Okay. I let her know. The people I've been hanging with, they got a pool party coming up. I'm going. Oh, you are? Yeah. Literally within minutes. Why even tell her, though? Herself, you know what? I'm glad you got friends. The friends that she said I don't have, she was glad that I had them. Oh, okay, I got these friends. It sounds like Nick was a little jealous because all the friends that Nick came in to the relationship with, she no longer has leaving the relationship. Whereas Jay had no friends coming in the relationship and now she has lots of friends leaving the relationship. So I think Nick is a little bit envious. But we're single, y'all. We never, after that breakup in June, we never got back together. So I'm single. You, she, Neek, left me. Mm. So when I'm out here mm. living my best life, Live being it. happy, <laughs> not just saying I'm happy, I'm being that. I am happy. Good girl. And I see that. Why am I trying Yours to, is why real. am I being checked? on what I'm doing as if I'm in somebody's relationship. Girl, I don't know, and you're answering to her. And cannot do. And you answering to her. Relationship versus not being in a relationship, not talking to nobody to build towards nothing. If we ain't building, we ain't, we ain't got nothing to be checked on. Mm. I can see we were trying to build the communication like I was trying to do, but we weren't trying to work on, like we weren't trying to build nothing. She was happy being single and basically Seems like it. praising herself like, I'm so glad that I'm single, I can do this, I can do that. So when I'm doing this, when I'm doing that, why are you trying to question me, bro? Control. You cannot control the hell? me if I'm single. I'm going to let her finish. Make me look like this person that you want to play me out to be, right? Now let's go here. I'm perfect. Oh, hell no. I'm not. I'm far from. In six, in a six year span, do you know how much you could do wrong in a six year span? Some things she said was true, some things she said was false. Y'all decide. I'm not here to make you pick no silence. Whatever you want. But you know, I already told you if you believe her, you're a fool too. Right? <laughs> in a six-year span. That's what, I, girl, I got you. I know. I know what, exactly what she was trying to do, okay? I know. She's trying to have people pick sides. I knew that from the very beginning, girl. Trust me. I got it's you. It's a possibility for anything to happen. I spent 365 days with you times six. With all the stuff that happened between us, I forgave her for damn near everything. She forgave me too. Not for everything. 
<laughs> she held a lot of stuff over my head. Even after the breakup, y'all, stuff was happening after the breakup because I'm doing stuff that a single person can do. And she's holding it over my head, but not keeping that same energy. She's like picking and choosing when she's going to tick for tat or, oh, but remember when you did this and so I'm doing this. Keep that same energy. Sis. And so we're human, right? The things that we went through in our relationship was our business. Not for the world to see. And y'all wonder why I'm coming to this 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 platform. Again, Jay, but what made you put put the business out there? What made you go so low, get so personal. I was fed up, triggered, harassed, controlled, manipulated. I'm sick of her being this victim and not having no accountability or no ownership on what she do. I was over it. I was so over it. So over it because when I tell you, I will be out having a good fucking time with my friend. I wake up on a whole hangover <laughs> to voice messages about what I'm doing. Long ass text messages about what I'm doing. Control, like, control. I was sick of that. Nick lost control because Jay finally got to live the single life and it's biting her in the ass. I was sick of it. Sick. By the way, I'm not picking sides neither, but girl, I'm understanding Jay's side a lot more than Nick's. today to tell you what was going on in my relationship. But I already told y'all that I wouldn't do that, right? But the whole point was to tell y'all, I'm not gonna tell y'all we broke up, I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I ain't gonna tell you why. Which was planned to do. When we gonna do why we broke up video? When we gonna do why we broke up video? Matter of fact, I'm gonna make a video first and say your side of the story, then we do it together. LOL, okay. I think I'm gonna do that today, LOL. Okay, I'll do mine tomorrow, okay. What does the section come with? Six people and a bottle? Dway. Yes, baby. So that's annoying. When you break up with somebody and you still want it to be business, that's annoying. That's sad. Why I got a thousand views in two minutes. That is sad. You putting your video out today? Yes, okay. It should never be like that, though. It should never be like that. That's when a relationship doesn't become real no more. I said I'm not gonna do that. You don't get on the internet and expose or defame or degrade somebody who once was there for you, hand and foot. Somebody that you were in love with. Cause I mean, therefore you, baby, you just sound bitter. You yeah, I'm, I'm far from bitter. I'm far from it, I, I, I promise you. I've been over Tanika since August. Since August. And I literally, because I wasn't like involved with nobody, I allowed her to input herself. Still, I allowed her, I shouldn't have did, but I allowed her to input herself into my life how she wanted to be in my life. So if all you want to do is call me at night time mm. to low key keep tabs on me and make sure I'm not going out and see where I'm at and what I'm mm. doing and whatever the case may be. Mm. So if you wanted to just call me at night time and fall asleep on the phone at night time and we wake up in the morning time and we still on the phone, if that's what you wanted to do consistently, that was cool. But I ain't hear from her in the morning time. Or the, and that's when she started like to, that's what I'm saying with my feelings and emotions had to be triggered because it's like, you were just on the phone with me all night last night. Mm. You trying to tell me you ain't wake up and want to just say good morning? <clears throat> I was like, oh, Jay, girl. Yeah. Cut the, cut, cut. She wanted cut, her cake and eat it too. Detach. So I was already in the process of detaching myself. And then it will be times where we would get up and because I remember this one time, she literally picked me up from my crib because I was helping her apartment shop. She picked me up from my crib and we were somewhere and she was all over me. And I was like literally like moving away from her or like moving her hands and not like being disgusted, but it was just kind of like, I don't want that. She I don't want it. She don't want to play those and little I'm games. I'm not about to allow you to do it 
to have me all like, oh yeah, I love when you touch me, I love when you. I wasn't doing that. Right. To then go back home and not hear from you until 11 o'clock at night. Right. Had me looking stupid like, Jay, why, why you keep checking your phone? It's not your bitch. Right. Y'all single. Girl, I would have I would have wasted a y'all would have missed out on a whole lot of content if I was just waiting on just mm. waiting for something that I was I wasn't doing that. Right. Good for I you. Wasn't doing that. Good for you, girl. You know what I'm saying? Now, we have had our back and forths. We've gone on out. I'm gonna speak for me. I've had my back and forths with going on live and um, saying things back because I I'm just shocked that she would come to this internet and expose anything that we went through in our household. You get what I'm saying? That's crazy to me. But you can play that game. You can have that. Because I'm still not going to do that. that. You're not because you already did. That's just absolutely, that's so low and so bitter and so distasteful that I cannot... I cannot share that with you. You get what I'm saying? Even if it gives me light, I can't share that with you. So anything that you've done and all the bull girl that I went through with you. Let's talk about this bull that she went with went through with me. Coming up next, part two. So you didn't teach me how to survive. Uh. Cause I was going to survive anyway. When you met me, I was staying with my dad. But I had my, I'm gonna save that story for, for the end. <laughs> Part two coming up, bro. Just focus on you, baby girl. Oh, that's her outro. You know the vibes, you know what the fuck going on. And I'm not this bitch. She's smart too, because she's gonna, she's gonna grow from this business-wise. And that's why she knew, she made a new intro, she made a new outro. She's like, okay, people want to watch. I'm going to have a lot of views with these videos, so I'm, let me perfect my craft real quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. It's, it's already long. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it, post it, and I'm going to go ahead and watch part two. Stay tuned. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on your notifications. Also, subscribe to mine and my wife's vlogging channel, Listen Chris. See y'all next video. Peace.